In this first of many videos, we're going to start by doing a bunch of relatively simple proofs and seeing how can we prove things in a formal way. So our first thing is going to prove that the sum of two even numbers is an even number. To do this proof, usually people when they write proofs will write down the word proof and then underline it or something. And then most mathematical statements are of the form I wrote here. If something, then something else. In order to prove this, what we want to do is suppose that the initial hypothesis is true. Suppose that x is even and y is even. Then we need to use whatever knowledge we have available to show that x plus y is even. So how can we do this? I'm going to write down, let x and y be even numbers. Just like I said, I'm going to assume that that is true. I then must use logical steps to go from this to something that that implies, to something that that implies, to something that that implies, until eventually I arrive at the fact that x plus y is even. This is effectively continual application of modus ponens. We suppose that the hypothesis is true, which implies something, which implies something, which implies something, until we arrive at the result. So, since x and y are even numbers, this means that there exists two integers, m and n, such that, I'm using some abbreviated notation here, that there exists that we used with our predicate logic, and s dot t is a common abbreviation for such that. These integers exist. If a number is even, it's a multiple of two. So I can write x as 2 times m and y as 2 times n. That is the direct implication of the fact that they were even. And now I want to show that x plus y is even. We observe that x plus y is equal to, using those new representations, I can write x as 2m and y as 2n. We can write this as 2m plus 2n. And now I want to finish writing x plus y somehow as a multiple of 2. With basic algebra, we should hopefully realize that we can factor out a 2 out of that expression. And then we have 2 times m plus n, and if an, this is now an integer, m plus n, the integers are closed under addition, meaning that if you add two integers, you, it remains an integer. We have an integer times 2, so x plus y must be even, because just to make sure we get all of our evidence written down, m plus n is an integer. And in the previous line, we can see that's written as 2 times m plus n. Notice I wrote this proof in English. This is one way that people write proofs. There are other ways of writing proofs where you write your sequence of things as not sentences, but just direct mathematical statements. Both are considered valid proofs. One might be easier to verify because it's written symbolically. But typically, proofs are written a little more in organic English. Typically, at least in the fields in which I have worked. So I'm going to use that convention when I do proofs for you. This proof hopefully seems very straightforward. I let them be even numbers. I then say, what does that mean? It means that I can write them in a certain way. And then I try to do whatever I can to use those facts to build my desired result. 